And welcome back guys, we're going to be playing some Cyberpunk 2077, so it's going to be a mixture of main quests and side quests together in this one. Make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe button, let's get into playing some Cyberpunk 2077. Kako Okada, the Lady of Westbrook Estate. When you find the moment, come see me. We must settle our accounts for Sandra Dorset. You did quite well, you and that friend of yours. Until then. Sure got that ear to the ground. Siempre. Anyway, you need something. You know where to find me. V, nice to see you. Oye, sit. Sit. You want a beer? One mind one. Salud. A lot of time has passed. How you been? Been better, to tell you the truth. What is happening? That night when... when Jackie fell. Let's just say... Things haven't exactly been easy since. Yo sé cómo te sientes. Todos lo sabemos. I am in the middle of preparing an ofrenda. There is still so much to take care of. 
want to take part in the ceremony, but I want to do it the right way, in line with tradition. Mm-hmm. But something I'd, I'd lay by his casket that would do justice to his memory, I, I don't got anything. But your heart is in the right place, mi niña. Don't worry. He's symbolic. Look for something in his garage. His past is all there. Thanks, Mama Wells. Ah, don't mention it, V. You have respect. I admire that. The garage is on Republic. I de veo. Ivy. What are you doing here? Sitting and waiting. And yeah, waiting for him. Though I know he's never coming back. Lately, I've just been coming here to sit. An hour. Sometimes two. I know it's gonk, it's just... I miss him. A lot. Wanna sit? Catch up? Mama Wells is having a send-off for Jackie. I need to find something he really cared about. Mind giving me a hand? I'm not sure I should go in there, V. Still too soon. No, it's not that. Mama Wells and I aren't exactly on the best terms. She wouldn't want me touching any of his things, disturbing the memory. That I know. Jackie'd want you here. That's more important. Come on. Locked. Wonder what's in there. That's his lair. Slept there. He must have had a different key. Let's look around. Might be tucked away somewhere? Still full. His favorite. Strategic reserve. Found no touching. It. How come? Por que no puedes tocar una reserva estratégica? Oh, Jackie. <laughs> a mandala? Mm hmm. Oh, it's a long story. Hey, you all right? I'm so much better than all right. I once told Jackie he should sweep all the dark energy out of this place. A sand mandala would do the trick for. He told me that out of sand he'd build a castle, a home, the Wells family hideout, stronghold, something. I guess you made a bigger impression than you thought. I guess I did. Isn't it just a little janky? It's hideous, but it's also the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Jackie's favorite tequila. Still sealed. It's his lucky charm. One of the first bottles ever made by Jesus de Abajo. The founder of Sensan Tequila. Only a hundred of them left in the world. All owned by the one percent. How did Jackie get this one? Some shriveled abuela in Mexico sold it to him. Told him de Abajo had stolen her recipe. Taking this, yeah. Perfect for Jackie. Well, you got something for your ofrenda, but we could look around a little more. An aquarium? It used to be tacos. And taco was? Miss Fish, a dwarf shark, like Minnie. 
Sounds like a mighty expensive fish. <laughs> oh, I don't think he bought it. Nice still. Gotta be Jackie's dad. Old school ganger. Valentino's, of course. Did you meet him? Leather belt? No, I only ever heard sort of a memento. His dad's. He used to beat both Jackie and his mom with it. Until one day, Jackie fought back. Kicked his butt. Told him he'd kill him next time. Old man was hospitalized and then he left. Why did he hold on to it? In case his dad ever comes back. Love to poke around engines. He was 15 when he first got on a bike. Knowing him, it is a miracle he never wiped out. Guess no man cave's complete without some of those, huh? He said they're collectibles. They don't print them anymore. It's definitely why they're up there, yeah. For whom the bell tolls, Ernest Hemingway. Jack read it a dozen times. Always right before a big job. He said the guy who wrote it was tougher than Morgan Blackhand. You read it? Is it any good? I... I never got the chance. It'd be a good tribute for the Ofrenda, though. <laughs> Jackie loved to pump iron, didn't he? He called it his form of meditation. He used to say, barbells are the best listeners. They understand all your problems and never give you gonk advice. <laughs> Gotta be hanging here since 2020. Basketball signed by Dante Gonzalez. He was from Haywood too. Everyone here shot hoops. Dante ran circles around him. I think he might have been the first kid to ditch the Valentinos. Like Jackie? Mm-hmm. They both wanted more out of life. Dante's captain of the NC Blackouts now. Where are you going? Actually, V, I think I'll stay a while. Say bye to him here. Then go raise a glass to him, Padre. A few glasses. De acuerdo. P. It's good you're here. We're about to start. Sit down, please. Hey, v. I thank you all for coming today. I'm not going to tell you what kind of man my son was, or lament about how much I miss him. Instead, I'll tell you a story. When he was about 19 years old, Jackie was in the Valentinos. They were at war with Maelstrom back then. I get a call from the hospital. They tell me he got shot three times, just by the heart. He was conscious when I get there. So many tubes coming out of him. He looked like a, like a pulpo, like an octopus or something. He tell me, he said, no te preocupes, mama. Look, I'm bulletproof. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. And when I go, he take off his Valentino's ring. He swear he won't need it anymore. But he was not scared. He just didn't want me to worry. <laughs> Descansa en paz, mi hijo. Among the membership of the Night City Devils Boxing Club, we had this saying. 
Make your best friends among the fighters who knock you out cold. And it's true. Jackie's arm was a cannon. No one's ever hit me as hard. <laughs> I can still almost feel it. Twelve rounds, buddy. Me mandó Camporta. Lamenta no estar aquí. Todavía le quedan cuatro años que cumplir. Me pidió que leyera esto. Recuerdo cuando Jackie se nos unió. Era un niño fuerte. Cuando decía que iba a hacer algo, cumplía. Tenía olor, ol, 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 honor. Podría haber llegado lejos. Mis condolencias a la familia. Que descanse en paz. Anyone else? I, uh... I often think back to the first time me and Jack met. I'd been hired to drive him and some contraband across the border. He'd bought some goods, klepped from Arasaka. Top secret. Priceless. A lizard. <laughs> and... And I remember what he said then. That... That I came from a place where everyone's family. So, he must be too. Jackie Wells. The best friend you could ask for. Loyal to a fault. Once he set his mind on something, he was ready to die to achieve it. He, he once told me, Chica, the one thing we can't do is be afraid of others. He kept Haywood in his heart, always. It made him who he was. But most importantly, Jackie loved life and had no fear. Heart on his sleeve, he, he didn't overthink things, he just went for it. Thought he was bulletproof and that he'd become legend at the afterlife. And ultimately, he did what he set out to do. Shit in the shoes of some powerful people. If he's watching, bet just about now he's flipping them all the bird. He always wanted more than he got out of life. Rest easy, Chum. I would like to say a toast. Or mi hijo. Thank you for your kind words, B. I'm glad you're here. It was a beautiful ofrenda we gave him. Do you know what? You're a good woman. Jackie would want you to have these. Thank you. I'll take such good care of it. Cuídate, Vi. Gonna miss him. I already do. <laughs> Me Campos too, Chica. Says he feels like he lost Me one too. of his own. Here's the Jackie. Got off to greener pastures. Don't go starting something, eh? Not today. Jackie Wells. A proud son of Haywood. I should mingle, Vic. Sure. See you later, V. Would you another? For Jaquito? Poor. For Jackie. Amen, sister.
Weird, being here without Jackie. Can't shake the feeling I'm gonna turn around and see him sitting at the bar. In his favorite spot, where he always used to sit. Hey, you! Have a drink with us, hmm? To Wells? All right, why not? To Wells. May he rest in peace. Good for now. Thanks. See? You gotta know when to stop. Aye, right, give me a break. All right, let's go.
since we're gonna work together, only right to say hello. They call me El Capitan, and they call you... See, no introductions necessary. Already took care of them. Someone comes to me with beers, I take care of it. I eat, sleep, and breathe beers. Remember that. Aye, aye, Captain. While we're at it, we need fresh wheels, bikes. I got it all. Real good prices. So hit me up anytime, you hear? Sharp and snazzy, Josh. <laughs> well, well, who do I spy but V in my humble parlor, no less? Okako, long time no see. So, what brings you here? Have some outstanding biz to settle. Remember Sandra Dorset? I don't forget such things, V. Here is your reward. It comes with a fairly ample bonus. Go see a Ripper Doc. They'll weave you a dermal imprint that will enable smart gun compatibility. A Tiger Claw specialty. Hey, are you there? Yes, I'm talking to you. Willing to bet nobody knows Westbrook like you do. My husband's knew Westbrook. Yes, each of them. Very high in the Tiger Claws. Rude Japan town. What did they do? They did what made the best eddies. Gave them the most pull, sold sex, and black market tech. Can't help asking. How many of those husbands did you have? Five. All went before the time. Terrible family tragedy. Not afraid that tragedy will strike you? Have to live somehow. For my nine sons.
Let's see what's good. Take your pick.
T-Bug sent me. Said you'd have something for me. So you are V. I'm sure you heard what happened. Real shame. She left a demon for you. A gift from beyond the grave. It should work on any third gen deck. Okay. Glad to grab a demon always. You could test it now. I have an access point. If you'd like, that is. You might extract some shimso. Got anything Nova for sale? If you can afford it, yes. not to look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorino Barasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. Been thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. 
She's likely gone, very far away. Just answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? Got no clue. Evelyn was knowledgeable about the relic. Had a large chunk of classified info. An enigma, to be sure, but... She showed that slyness you get in corpo agents. You know the kind. I do possess this slyness you speak of. You got tossed out lumped with the outcasts easily. Or have you forgotten? <sighs> Sorry, I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose. B, so. wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice? In Night City? I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. So what, we stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prepped for the heist thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true, he's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka, betrayed it. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking Saka scums everywhere. Hey! I was listening to that! Shut up! Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Let it go, Takamura. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes. I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. You're an Obu Arasaka degree? I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about a plan B. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. 
I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal Rad squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place. The club called the Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the Queen of Fixers there. Rogue. She take you for a suit? No. She saw me as Saburo-sama's killer. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends. Call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka is still a despotic machine and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you've got some nerve. First you're out to kill me, now you want to be my pal and make like nothing happened? You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dick wipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back. Looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. You are the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you've had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What would I say to her? I got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. Listen, need to find Evelyn. I really don't want to talk about her. Know where she is? What'd I just say? Drop it. I won't tell you again. Can we meet? Let's meet, please. You at Lizzie's? Hey, would you look at that? You see it too, right? Either gone completely whacked or I'm having a mystical moment. What's that chick's name? The one with the hair? Misty? Yeah. More likely a neuron misfire for Victor to check out. Maybe ask them both. No, folks. This is a smoke screen for something. And it wouldn't be the first time. You're old enough to remember the Fourth Corporate War. There was a widespread report that Saburo had been killed by the Japanese FDF in a bid to end the war. Of course, it turned out not to be true, and the war dragged on for another year. No, you can take this one to the bank. It's only a matter of time before Saburo's gonna show up on TV, tell us all he's back as CEO and ready to take the Arasaka Corporation into the next century. Hey! Have a 
seen you here before. Got a good memory for faces. We're closed right now. Need to talk to Punch and Judy. She in her den. Yep. Take the stairs down. I'll let Judy know you're coming. Whoa, whoa. Start again. What is it you want us to do now? Speak some sense into him. That don't work. I don't know what you said. <laughs> Judy's embarrassing herself again. Hey, where are you going? Nothing to see back. Telling every joy toy you meet to come here. The hell I'm supposed to do with them all? You so concerned about strays? Go take care of your guest. Suze, we're not done here. Oh yeah, we fucking are. You just don't give up, do you? Listen, have you seen Evelyn? Need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. Can you just answer my question? I'm trying to find Evelyn. That's all you need to know. Better start looking then. Black. Listen, if you don't know where she is, just tell me. I don't have time for verbal volleyball. You know or not. All right, enough. Get lost. You care so much. Find clouds. Look there. And where's clouds? Sig case on my desk got the address. Just take it and go. Mega tower. <laughs> Luxurious. So, clouds? It's a dollhouse. Evelyn, a regular there. Or a drone. Forget Evelyn. Admit it. This is about Judy's virtues, isn't it? Good shit, if I say so myself. They call me Mr. Hands. If you're looking for Pacifica jobs, call me. Name's B. And what? No pleased to meet you? I'm truly honored to meet you. You got any biz? Call me. I see the only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your bets. What have I missed this time? Enlighten me. Brain dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. You think Judy's lying? Why? Little something called intuition, V. Ever heard of it? 
Oh, so what planet. you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it. Subdivided into smooth areas, industrial, scientific, and residential. Oh, hold on. Welcome to Clouds, where we know what you're looking for. Would you care to... All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe word. Afterlife. And saved. Now, bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. Two matches. Interesting. Is that normal, or...? Who can say what is normal? You're clearly a unique person with... unique tastes. Our system can handle it. So who will it be? Angel or Sky? Think an angel looks good. I couldn't have chosen better myself. Now for the payment, and you'll venture into the clouds. There you go. And the payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Angel awaits you in booth six. Disconnect, please. Is that it? <clears throat> we have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. Only two willing to spread their legs for you. We hope you enjoy Sad. your stay. Guess that makes you a real deviant. Valerie, right? I'm Angel. Your Angel. Sure, why not? Do what you do best. I know that you're dying. Listen, I'm looking for someone who worked here. Evelyn Parker. Know her? Know where she is? You must see the big picture. You focus too much on details, minor ones, like Evelyn. Please don't act like you know me. I just want some answers. But are you asking the right questions? How can you change what has already happened? What do you mean, happened? You know something I don't? What happened to you? What you keep inside and never reveal to anyone? And that is? Come now. You know. Snuffed it once? And I'm gonna have to do it all over again. 
Got no idea how to stop it. There. Happy. You wish to leave something behind. A piece of yourself. That's why this all began. You wish to be remembered. Yeah. Wanted to reach the top. Be someone. Still do. But seems like that might not happen anymore. Still. If I gotta die, I wanna go down in history. Fuck it, even a footnote would do. And after that? Do you think death is a disappearing act followed by exactly nothing? People I've lost live on in my thoughts, and that's what I'll be. A memory. Or just some stranger's voice in my own body. Yapping away. Mm, no longer part of the world. You will still have an impact there. So you believe death is not the end after all. Reassuring. Think I might just be afraid. So I imagined these things to distract myself from the thought of the void. If what I saw before is any indication, I... You are sensitive. That does not make you weak. Try to suppress your emotions, and you'll drown. So, where do we go from here? This is the part where I tell you what you must do. Oh, okay. Be my guest. You've never backed out from anything, so don't stop now. Not one step backwards. In this city, people die on their way to the corner store for a scop pop. But that threat's never stopped you. You dive into the middle of it all. Always have. Afterlife. What? What happened? You interrupted the session? Did I do something wrong? W were you not satisfied? Evelyn Parker. What do you know about her? Wait just a sec. That's not how this works. You can't ask me about the dollhouse or anything like that. I could get in serious trouble. Go. Please, just go. You gotta help me, please. I'm no threat. And she could be in trouble. Just want to talk to her, find out if she's okay. Look, I barely knew her, and I have no clue where she is. Nobody came looking for her. Nothing out of the ordinary happened? There was an... incident... with a client. I don't know the specifics. One doesn't ask about these things around here. Tom might know. He and Evelyn were close. Go ask him. And please leave me alone. Tom, who's he? Friend of Evelyn's. Wasn't a free moment they weren't together. Where'll I find him? He's a doll here. Works the VIP area, booth two. Thanks. Sheesh. Don't ask for me again. Ever. <laughs> I can't get in? What's that mean? I'm here every motherfucking week! You're not authorized to access the VIP area. Oh, yes I am! No, sir, you're not. You can take it up with the manager. No, dog! I'm taking it up with you, here, now! You got any idea who I am? This gonk don't understand that I've got a right to be in there! From what I can see, your VIP membership has been revoked. What now? Please stay calm, sir, or we're going to have to escort you outside. Well, yeah. A minute. It's 
piss first. Better keep this short and sweet. Hi! Um, I think something might have gone wrong here. Not really sure, uh... Don't have your details? Sorry, no idea what I'm supposed to do. Need to get in touch with Evelyn Parker. It's important. You and me both. Tried calling her a bunch of times. No luck. Mean to say she's not here? She had an accident. Needed to go to a special clinic in Osaka. Or Oslo. I think it was Oslo. For a new faceplate. Tell you herself she was skipping town? Nah, just didn't show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so... I asked Woodman what was up. Told me she left, like I said. Woodman? Who is he? Mr. Forrest. But everybody calls him Woodman. Never really known why. Okay, Mr. Forrest then. What's his thing? He's kind of like our caretaker. Finds new talent, deals with ugly situations. Got it. Could it be Woodman finally shed some light on this shit show? Man we can only dream. The skull sponges and these dolls. Ugh, that's what they should be replacing. Alrighty, that looks like a good place to stop. Make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.